In this problem, it says that a genetic experiment involving peas yielded one sample of offspring consisting of 423 green peas and 135 yellow peas. We're going to use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that under the same circumstances, 24% of offspring peas will be yellow. We want to identify the null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, test statistic p-value, and then form a conclusion about the null hypothesis and a final conclusion. We're going to use the p-value method here and the normal distribution. So we start off with our null and alternative hypotheses. So what I'm going to find for those is, let's see, we're testing the claim. So I look for where does the problem say we're testing the claim. So it says test the claim that under the same circumstances, 24% of offspring peas will be yellow. So my null is going to be that P is equal to 24% or 0.24. And the alternative is that P is not equal to 0.24. And the claim is the null hypothesis. And I like to figure that out at the beginning. That's going to be helpful at the end. So that's how we get C, or sorry, E, as the um, correct null and alternative hypotheses. This is about a proportion, and there's just one sample. So we're going to do a one prop Z test on the calculator. So when I do that, I'm going to put in the value from the null hypothesis, which is P0, and that is 0.24. Then I'm going to put in the number of successes, which is X. And so we're looking at, in the sample, how many were yellow. So that was 135. And N is the total number of P's which is the 135 yellow peas plus 423 green peas. And you can just type that into the calculator in that n equals spot. And we will get what, 558, it looks like. And then we're going to put in the alternative hypothesis. So this is going to be that the proportion which is the P, is not equal to P0, which is that 24% from the beginning. So once I put this all in, what we're going to get is that our test statistic is Z equals 0.11, and the p-value is going to be the area in the tail past 0.11 and past negative 0.11, so that's going to be quite a bit. That's going to turn out to be 0 0.9147. Then we want to find the conclusion about the null hypothesis. So since we have a large value of P, I compare that to alpha. And in this problem, what did they say alpha was? 0.05, that's the significance level. Since P is greater than alpha, that's when I fail to reject the null hypothesis. And so because I'm failing to reject the null hypothesis and the claim is the null, when the claim is the null, we use the word reject in our final statement. 
So I'm going to say there is not sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Or I, I should say, to uh, um, there's not sufficient evidence to reject the claim, which is the null hypothesis here. So that's how you do that problem.